so I can see you going to the bathroom and we're gonna have flying things thrown at us. Bring it on, baby. Each day feels like such a long day. It's windy around here at night. It's like the tundra. There's the women out there. I'm still on my way to the Whitewater Preserve. I'm less than two miles from it now. But those mountains over there were pretty cool. They have like a green shade. It's almost like a bluish, orangish. Which happens to be complementary colors, blue and orange. So they look pretty cool. Anything like it, quite like that. slow because my knees hurt. It's been like a mostly down day and yesterday. So young people they just go flying down like they were born yesterday. They're like pew, pew. <laughs> their youthful knees don't care I guess. <laughs> But I cannot do that. So, it's a little more challenging. I made it to the Whitewater Preserve Junction. More sand.
today is Wednesday. I think it's the 11th of May. I could be wrong. <laughs> I've been out here for two weeks in a day. I had one zero and one Nero. Super windy again last night for a while. My Z Pack tent isn't the greatest option, I don't think, out here in the desert. I think you need a frame, at least a partial frame. I always have to use heavy rocks to hold down my tent. Even then, the flies always seem to have a problem flying open in the wind. So I miss my Nemo Hornet badly. <laughs> so I don't feel at home in my tent really. It'd be nice to switch it out, but this one's so light, it's my reason for carrying it. So Stayed at the Whitewater Preserve last night. It was nice. I was by the bird feeder. A lot of hummingbirds. And the bathroom facility. There's some water, but I didn't get water. Um, but some nice people along the trail. A lot of young people. They seem to walk in groups. Sometimes single young men will be by themselves. I've seen very few older people. <laughs> so, I don't really find anyone that really hikes my speed, which isn't very fast, but I'm pretty. So, I'll keep looking. I met a man last night who is from Switzerland. He's already done half of the AT this year. And I was like, hey, you trying to triple crown? I noticed his tag. He said, yeah. So, I thought that must be a very singular, ambitious goal. You can't be with other people. So, to keep him in my mind, I've been pulling a lot of miles more than normal. So, it makes me tired. has been good. Uh, the man doing the triple crown, he said BCT is so much nicer than the AT. <laughs> He's like, the AT has so many rocks. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> True. This one has the sun, though. And the wind. And the lack of water. So, it's a trade-off. I think this trail is more beautiful, but then there's beauty everywhere. Even in deadness and the decay, there's still beauty. rare experience.
trail gets a little ambiguous around here. I'm still following Mission Creek. So, it's been a little bit of an adventure. But good. I know if you wear too many things, if you're on body heat, you can't keep yourself warm. You radiate out and then back in. So, um, this morning has been good. The trail is pretty nice to be in the pine again. Got a lot of nice people along the way. Seems to be more people like in a bubble all of a sudden, ever since we left I 10. So, anyway. I get back to work. I don't know how many miles I can go today, so I'm gonna go 20. It was about 26 to town. I don't know that I have enough hours to be able to hike that. I could try, but I haven't done that 
doing it. My step down is maybe 21 miles. So. Anyway. Thank you for the encouragement. I'm not far defacing rock, but These are. Are they redwood? I'm not familiar with them, so. You can see it, but Big Bear Lake. That's where I'm going. Seems pretty dry. But everything's dry out here. So to see any water at all is like looks so beautiful. <laughs> scree fields all over the mountains are crumbling I'm about seven to eight miles away from Big Bear Lake and I'm getting tired so really really wanted to make it there tonight These days I'll hike a marathon, but maybe today wasn't the day. Anyway. A lot 
lot of us, so we're gonna we're gonna go to Kenny's place tomorrow. Tomorrow night. I guess he has a breakfast he serves everybody and he'll pick you up at the trail. Super awesome. Everything's by donation, I believe. He doesn't turn anyone away. I sure would love to eat breakfast in town in the morning. <laughs> Always want eggs. <laughs> bacon. I never eat bacon. I mean, they're very, very rarely. I mean, I'll eat it sometimes, especially when my daughter wants to eat it or my kids. But I never just buy it and make it. It's like a staple. Every time I have town, I want bacon. <laughs> okay, gotta go. Seeing town makes me really motivated. As long as the terrain stays relatively flat. <laughs> I wanna get to town so bad. <laughs> I'm dreaming of a bed and pizza. <laughs> Throwing all my crap all over the room. <laughs> Funny enough, whenever I go to a hotel or anything like that, off channel, I really don't turn on the TV. It's just so much noise, it seems like. Yeah. I don't know. Everybody's so worried about being perfect and looking good, being powerful and, you know, having a great job. You gotta have your house look like this. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's so freeing just to Get away from the TV. Even the news. Even though I know bad things are happening in the world. Just have to pray. There's nothing wrong with a nice job and looking nice because I'm absolutely for that. I don't think we're called to be bummed or not work hard, try to improve ourselves, try to look nice. It's just when that takes over, becomes primary goal in life, you forget. I know most people believe and understand that family is the most important thing. Because it is. People are important. It's hard to get away from the stress, you know? The stress of performance at work, keeping up with, not aging, <laughs> but I believe in heaven and this world is not the only one there's more to come and so we can give up our worries it's probably the reason why I like being out here worry about getting to water. Is it going to be cold? Am I going to make it to Canada in time for the snow? And then I'm like, well, I can't control everything. I can't really control anything. 
so it's been a letting go process letting go not worrying that you're missing out on something very peaceful to be at peace with yourself, with God, people. So that's kind of a quest that I feel like I'm on. Hi. I have officially backpacked a marathon. Yes! 26.2. Point eight to town. Now I get another goal. See if I can make it to town. trucking along really fast and look. There's a baby up there. Hello. It's like the ponies on the AT. Yeah. Burrows on BCT.